Hello everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In this After Effects tutorials, we are going to create a very cool text effect in which text is going to be generated through bubbles. Now this is just a sample text. You can use other shapes also to generate the text, how I will show you in this tutorial. But first of all, let us preview that what we are going to create today. So now you can see that there is a layer of bubbles that is generating a text which is nothing but bubble and this bubble is itself made up of bubbles. So let's see that how it is created. First of all, as you know the drill, we have to go to composition and create a new composition. We are going to name it bubble text. The frame rate is kept at 30 frames per second. Duration of 5 seconds is good. Hit OK. and. Uh, now we are going to create a solid layer for the background so right click on the layer area go to new go to solid to create a background just name it bg you can keep any color that you want it doesn't really matter at this point just click ok now go to effects and presets and search for gradient ramp here you will find it under generate just apply it and uh, change the ramp shape to radial ramp and the start of the ramp to 540 now the end of the ramp must be changed to 940 to 1080 pixels that's okay just swap the colors and you will find this good looking ramp now we are just going to lock this layer next thing we are going to do is um, add our text layer so for that just grab under the text tool now you have to just adjust it as per your composition, changing it to medium, aligning into the center horizontally and vertically. Now you need not change, uh, worry about the color because it would is going to be the same color as your bubble layer will be. So as of now, next thing we are going to do is create our own bubble layer. So just right click on the layer area, go to new and create a new solid layer name it as bubbles hit ok now just bring it just below your text layer and for the time being you can just turn off this text layer go to effects and presets and search for an effect called cc particle system studio you will find it under simulation apply it on the solid layer and as you move forward you can see that there is a layer of particles that is shown over here now we have to play with the values over here to generate the required particles so just change the y radius to 0 over here under producer now as the position is concerned you have to go back to the first frame and change the value of the x coordinate to minus 200 click on the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe for the position move forward to around three uh, seconds in time and change back the position to 2250 like this so if we just preview it now we have to just expand the physics and change the animation type to twirl the velocity must be around 0.1 and uh, the gravity must be zero the direction and extra it's okay otherwise you can change the resistance to 10 now expand the particle change the particle type to lens bubble or if you want you can just choose any particle type that you want I am keeping it to bubble now uh, just change the opacity map to fade out sharp and the transfer mode to black matte now you can just decrease the bird size a little bit or you can just keep the bird size the same you can just decrease the depth size a little bit if the birth size is 0.11 then the death size must be around 0.35 or 3.4 now if you preview it ok 
okay so this flare is too long so we have to just decrease its longevity just go to longevity and uh, decrease its value to around 0 0.9 now we can just uh, on keep on our text layer now we have to adjust the size as per this layer so just grab on this and decrease its size a little bit and make sure it's aligned to the center both horizontally and vertically as well now we are going to do is add another solid layer and uh, just name it as bubble text whatever the effect that you have created on this bubble layer just copy it and paste it on the text layer hit you to bring up the keyframes and uh, delete these both position keyframes now just bring up the producer and make sure that the position is 960 by 540 now increase the x radius and the y radius so that it covers the whole of your composition now you need to increase the birth rate a little bit like this that looks good birth rate of around 15 is good over here and uh, yeah now what we are going to do is um, make sure that this layer is just below your text layer and change its track mat to alpha mat bubble now that is too scarce of a bubble so just increase its longevity a little bit and apart from this you can also increase its birth rate to 0.45 and the death rate to about 0.55 and opacity map should be run should be fade in and out now with this you can see that your text is all bubbly now we have pre-composed our text and uh, the next thing we are going to do is uh, just select for linear wipe effect and apply it on to our pre-comp and um just make sure that uh, okay i have already applied this effect into one of my compositions so that's showing these values so make sure that uh, your wipe angle is minus 90 degrees the transition completion is at 100 percent just stop watch it now you need to move forward in time around here and just drag the keyframe of the transition completion at 100% to here. Now, if you just play your animation a little bit, here you have to change the transition completion value back to a 0%. Now, you can see that your layer is generated and increase the feather to around 150. And if you just play it from the first frame, then So you will see that there is a flare of bubbles that is generating this text of bubbles which looks pretty good and it's pretty easy to create as you can see but instead of this bubbles you can just choose any uh, shape that you want if you just go to this effect and instead of particle type you change it to shaded sphere then you can just make this effect out of spheres or you can choose stars so you can choose lines you can also choose uh, different types of spheres like faded sphere, shaded and faded spheres, the motion polygons or the tri polygons or the quad polygons or even the cubes you can choose and many other shapes like the text, uh, textured tri polygon and what not. Uh, so you can also choose lens bubble and stuff like that but I'm choosing the bubble which is uh, what I like so Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for more such good tutorials. Till then, goodbye.